The next step of our setup is to assign the DVEs. The DVEs are how we can scale our keys. So if we have a full screen bug, we can size it down or we can use this for creating picture in pictures. First thing I'm gonna do as with all of the uh, uh, steps in the FSN is assign some names so things make sense. So I'm gonna come in here and name channel instead of DVE nine underscore one, which stands for slot nine DVE one. Uh, in engineering speak, we're going to give it a common name and call it ME1 key 1 because that's where we're going to use it. And DVE2, ME2 key 2. I now have two picture in pictures or scaled keys. We'll go ahead and assign them to locations. And now I have a couple different places I can use my DVEs. Once the DVEs have been assigned, we can then go work with them on the keyers. So by going to the key menu, I can now turn this into a picture in picture. Once I'm a picture in picture, I can go to my DVE menu. Our first keyframe is automatically built and it starts as a full screen image. If you look at my ME1 preview, I'm going to assign a source to the DVE and then by adjusting my size, I can size down the picture in picture. I can hit reset and the size will be reset back to full screen. I also have some shortcut keys to change the sizing quickly also changing positions quickly. Once I have my position and size established, I can also add things like a border, add some color to that border, turn on a drop shadow, and then when I bring in a background source, you'll be able to see that drop shadow underneath. Once I've got my look established, I can go to my shot box, save that keyframe that I like, again, giving it a name, up left yellow, and I can recall it at any time. I can now go and create another position and go back to my shot box save the new position and now I can jump between those two positions quickly. By using the shot box we can then very easily create an effect as a move. I can go to my effects setup, add a keyframe. I'm now with the yellow highlight over number two. I'm now working on keyframe number two. Go to my shot box Simply give it the new position. If I hit play, I now can go between my two keyframes. This can also be added to, the, to a transition on the T-bar and now I can mix my keyframe in and go from position to position using the T-bar. You can use the DVEs in combination with each other to create multiple keyframes and to create a variety of looks uh, and effects to enhance the output of your system.